Our cellar is full of water. We will use it to water our vegetable garden. Half of our garden is flooded too, and there is water even in the crawling space under the house. It is very damp in the house. We are not even letting our children down on the floor because it's too wet. A commission came over. Our deputy and local administrative authorities from Ziryanovsk. They all inspected the houses, looked at the flooding, and said that our applications from five or six houses were not going to work. They would not change anything. It is not a large-scale flooding. Only two houses have been flooded, and not the houses themselves, but their vegetable gardens. These houses are located in the water reservoir's inundation zone. They were constructed in an improper place from the very beginning. The owners did not obtain the required permits from the authorities before constructing the houses. The construction was not authorized. Besides, one of the residents who applied to the authorities with a complaint several years ago was granted an apartment in Novobukhtarma village. Her son now lives in that apartment, but she continues to live in this house. What concerns the power plant? We have repeatedly contacted the Bukhtarma power plant about the amounts of water they discharge, but we haven't made much progress so far. The water may rise by another 40 centimeters, we expect. It was hot in July. Glaciers on Viluha mountain started melting heavily. But the main amount of water came from the Black Irtish River, I think. As the authority inspecting the Irtish River basin, we believe that the problem is caused not by the level of water in the reservoir, but by unauthorized construction of houses in inappropriate areas. The water level in the reservoir can change by as much as 7 meters, according to the design. This is quite a large range, considering that the slopes are not steep in places. The houses were constructed during the years when the water level was low because of insufficient amounts of rain and snow. At that point, people started constructing inside the inundation zone, but with the level going back up, we're witnessing these floodings that look abnormal to people, but in fact, those who are now expressing their outrage at the situation constructed their houses outside the building line. For more news, please visit www.en.tingrenews.kz.